We're back with Leandre Fulyun, who was one of the top six finalists in the USN Face of Fitness cover model competition. She shares some slim down strategies for women. So you are the perfect person to talk to today because we are here to get some, some weight training tips from you. Now, first of all, especially when it comes to women and weight loss, women are scared of you know, doing weight training because they don't want to bulk up or anything like that. I mean, what yeah. do you have to say? You know what, that's such a myth because at the end of the day, women don't have the testosterone levels that men have. And am I correct when I'm, when I'm saying that weight training actually increases your fat burn capacity absolutely because it raises your body temperature so you know you have to you have to lift the weights in order to burn fat muscles are fat burning furnaces so adding weight training to your workout routine is essential include some of Leandre's super moves and great results are guaranteed so take me yeah. through a few exercises that sure. you know doesn't involve weight and that you can do at the gym or at home all right I can start you off with a basic just an air squat Okay. So feet hip distance apart. Let me start. I'm not in my workout clothes, so I hope I'm going to keep up. <laughs> I'm going to make you do some squat jumps. <laughs> yeah. All right, so basically okay. feet hip distance apart. You want to keep your chest up. Keep all the way in your heels, and you're just going to go down and up. And you want to go nice and fast, steady pace. Yeah. And you want to make sure that you go nice and low. And for women, I would say try and keep up the reps. It's at least 40 reps at a time if you can. That's going to get your yeah. heart rate up nice and high. Get that sweat going. How many, how many sets? Are we looking at everything uh, like this? I would say about two to three sets of 40 reps okay. um, of the squats, but you can combine that with some lunges, which yeah. I can show you as well. If you okay, want. lunges. All right, same thing. What you're going to do, right leg forward, your left leg goes down, knee touches the ground, push off with the front leg. Between 30 and 40 reps, That's it. two to three sets, and you can combine this with your squats. For someone starting out, I mean, how many times a week should you do weight training? To make it effective? I would say at least three times a week. Um, the other two days you can come in and do some cardio, but weight training at least three times a week. Weight training keeps your metabolism revved up and helps starve off osteoporosis by increasing bone density. Plus, muscle takes up less space than fat, so you'll appear thinner. This is brilliant. There's so many exercises you can do with this little piece of metal. Sheesh, First of all, okay. I can show you, which we start off with a, it's called a kettlebell swing. So okay. again, feet hip distance apart. You're gonna slightly squat down and up, pushing through the hips, bringing wow. that kettlebell. Perfect, look at your good form. That works the core. <laughs> sure. It works your core, works your bum muscles, your legs, your arms, your back, every muscle yeah. in your body. Leandre supplements her fitness routine with USN products designed to sculpt and maintain a leaner, toned physique. Here's her secret. What do you like to use to make sure that you achieve that result that you obviously do? I personally love using Fedra Cuts, you know, fat burner to give me that extra bit of energy in the morning. Mm. You know, it helps me to do a harder workout, um, you know, it helps with a bit of endurance and also with a fat burning aspect. Mm. Fedra Cut comes in a stimulant free form as well, so you can enjoy the benefits and boost of energy. Gareth Powell says there's one more essential nutrient to weight control, protein. Gareth, protein, why would you say it's so important for not only men, but women as well? Whether they're training or not training, it's vitally important. It's one of the macronutrients that we need to get into our system to maintain a stable metabolic rate, to suppress our appetite, also to enhance fat burning because of the branched chain amino acid availability in the product. It, yeah. it keeps our, our fatigue levels lower, so we have more energy, we can train for longer periods of time, we can recover the damaged muscle tissue mass a lot faster, and that way we burn fat, we look a lot leaner, we recover better. A protein that you would advise for, let's say, because is hitting the gym, specifically women, what would you say? Look, if they're just starting out, the most important thing is to protect the muscle tissue mass post-workout because that's where recovery occurs is post-workout. It's during the training session you damage the muscle fibers, you create inherent stress there. If you can't recover post-workout adequately, you're not going to be able to train properly the next day. So something like 100% whey protein is ideal in that regard. It's a fast digesting protein. It gets into the system very, very quickly. It's got a high level of glutamine, a high level of branched chain amino acids. And you're forcing all of those amino acids into the muscle mass and you're going to create recovery very, very quickly. Now, Gareth, we know what you use before workout, your Fedra Cut Lipo XT. Afterwards, we also know that you need to take your protein, but what about during your workout? BCAA amino mix is ideal. Mm. It's a flavored beverage. You just mix it into water. So you sip it throughout your workout. And the function of branched chain amino acids is to enhance muscle tissue recovery, but also to hold on to muscle sugars. Because it doesn't go to the liver for metabolism first, if I'm making your muscle fiber hold onto sugar, your body's got to look for an alternative energy source. Now, you can't use protein because you're getting your amino acids in. It can't use your, your muscle sugar. It can only use stored body fat mass. So, in a nutshell, if you're sweating in the gym but getting zero love from the scale, pick up the dumbbells and add quality supplements like protein to your diet. From the personal trainer side, people stepping into the gym, what should they be thinking? What should you, what would you advise them? 
you know what, it's just important to have a goal. You know, set a goal for yourself, train hard, use the correct supplementation, and you know, you're gonna, you'll get the results. Check out the Body and Lifestyle Challenge on usn.co.za. It might just be the motivation you need to reach your goals in 12 weeks. Plus, the winner goes home with the title and 50,000 Rand in cash.